So you're, you're Kelly Thomas's mom? I am, Kathy Thomas. Kathy, wh when did you first hear about this? I got the phone call the night that he was brought into the hospital. I got a phone call at home saying that he was at 3.30 in the morning telling me that he was in the hospital, that he was going to die. So I, I rushed down there right away. I saw a photo of him. Is that what you saw when you walked in that's, the hospital? That's what I saw. It was just unrecognizable. His face was just beat up so bad. Tubes running in and out, blood coming out of him. And it was... I had to, uh, it was terrible. He wasn't conscious at all? No, he couldn't he never talk? Did regain he never regained consciousness? He didn't talk to me at all. Did the uh, police talk to you at all? That night? No. Or any time? No, um, no, not really. No. Well, what do you think should happen now with the police chief and these officers? I believe that the chief, the chief sellers, I believe he should step down. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of bad things no. going on. He needs to, to just get out That's and it. go on with his life. No. So uh, this is not like the only incident with uh, Fullerton no. police. There's from, a history. From what I understand, I don't know all the details, but no. I don't think this is the first one. No. No. Well, it's good that so many people are here in support. It's great that all these people are here. I'm, I'm, I love it knowing that they're out here supporting Kelly, supporting his family. His community just is amazing. Have many people been reaching out to you, or email, or phone calls, and that maybe wouldn't have normally? Yeah, yeah people people will come up to me here, you know, and say that they knew Kelly from different places. It's the amount of support. Yeah, I'm getting cards, I get emails, I get on the Facebook, all, all the people. There's been a lot of support. What would you tell the public if you have a chance here right now? A lot of people are going to see this on YouTube. I just want justice for Kelly. I just want justice. I want, I want him to be able to rest in peace in, in heaven and don't forget about him. Just don't forget about my son. He was, he was a good guy. He's good. You were with Kelly Thomas when he died? Yeah, I was in the hospital room with him, with his mother and his dad and my daughter. Are you a relative? Kelly was my uh, nephew. So this is a real shocker then. Had this ever happened before with the police? or Not to my knowledge. I believe most police officers are, are very honorable people. We have police officers in our family. My brother's been a police officer for well, since he got out of college. He's older than I am, and uh, my other nephew is a sergeant with a local PD down here. Uh, so I've got a great deal of respect for cops in general, but there's always going to be a handful that just don't know where to draw the line, and this is a case here. Were these guys like out of the service or something? PTSD? Does anyone know anything about their behavior in the past? I, I really do not. And what is your name, sir? My name is Mike. No! Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. What do we want? What do we want? It? So, who is this in the photograph? Kelly Thomas. This is Kelly Thomas. Did you take it? The yes. photo? Yes. That's in front of my house. You love to play the guitar. Are you glad to see so many people here? I'm sad that nothing's happened yet. You know, no charges have been filed. No charges yet? Yet. It's taking too much time, I think. When you commit a crime, no matter what your profession, you should be brought to justice and uh, being paid on leave, I'm a taxpayer and I resent that. I don't want to pay.
away the criminal. I want these guys re-evaluated, psychologically re-evaluated, and maybe they should be in a different profession. Take the animosity out on the people that dig in the streets. Maybe that would help. Let's have some justice. This was not, this was outrageous, outrageous and completely humanly uncalled for. The, the police are being paid I, I on leave? If that's not true, I'd like that to be publicly corrected. You don't do this? Usually? I don't usually do this, but brother, this was uncalled for. This is a crime. It's, it's a crime against humanity. It could be your son. It could be your brother. It could be your father. It could be you. Businessmen in town. Um, I personally advocate for being as honest as possible about who and what Kelly was. He was a he was a small schizophrenic homeless man that needed to take care of himself. Um, there are challenges with that, obviously. Um, but the, at the end of the day, excessive police, to the extent that there was police abuse, it's irrelevant whether Kelly was the nicest guy in the history of the world or the meanest guy that ever lived. Once the police achieved marginal control over that situation, 100% of, of any physical striking or tasing should have come to an end. And go, go, go! Hey, you guys fucking threatened him. Yeah, man, look at this. Hey, that shit is excessive. Go! Hey, don't push me like that. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you lost the point. Get back, get back, get back. Get back. What the hell? Hey, fellas, get back, get back. Get back. That shit is excessive. Record that shit. Record that shit. Record that shit. Right, homie. Record that shit. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That's fucked up. I got you, homie. That shit is excessive. That's mad excessive. Get back, dog. Get back. Get back. That nigga choked him out. Yeah, for saying some shit, and then he just got pushed like that. Hey, everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, get on the sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk. Go home. Go home or go to jail. Guys, go back to your cars. Go to jail. Thomas was sitting on a bench when he was approached by two lawmen. Resisting arrest, they beat him down to the floor. He cried out for help, so they beat him down some more. But it was a slow night at the precinct, so they dispatched four more cops. Their guns and their batons were wailing in the air. When Kelly's eyes turned over, they just didn't seem to care. On the hands, so the people standing around were too afraid to help this man. When they finally took a break from beating in his head, they sent him to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Knows why they murdered Kelly Thomas Cause the evidence that night is sitting up in the DA's office The mayor's telling lies and the chief just won't be honest Oh my god, I wanna know, do these men even have a conscience? Well, the mayor even tried 
tried to hush his family's grieving. Said, here's 900,000, let's just shake hands and call it even. When I heard the news, you know I couldn't believe it. They snuffed a man's life for no goddamn reason. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Put them all in jail. 